All righty, welcome to it. It is the Plan B After Show podcast. Brock Hunter. Web exclusive. Let's do it. Um, All right, for your web exclusive today, let's get social. Here's what's trending around the globe, the interwebs, what have you. Uh, The Exorcist Believer opens in theaters today. Plan to see it? Absolutely Mm. not. Uh, I could have guessed that. Not going to see it. it. No. I I might go see it. Man. That's a, that's one that gets deep though. That's that's yeah. more that's psychological. That's it's got a, that's got it all. Um, I have never seen the full original Exorcist. You know, I've just seen clips, and mm-hmm. it still bothers me. Like the 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 even that old nineteen seventy makeup and everything. It just they say that that there's there's uh, hauntings within that movie. So when they were filming it, there was a lot of weird things that happened around. Oh it. yeah yeah yeah, Which, like the set burned down and yeah stuff like that, and like the people that were in the movie, or was that Poltergeist? No, I think it. Well, it, I, was I don't it, know. I think I, it was The Exorcist, actually. Like, um, strange things happened. Like people died after the movie. Um. Look, just look it up real quick. Well, here, so Strange yeah, here's, facts around the exorcist. Yeah, the the 10... God, I saw that girl's face. Damn it. Yep. <sighs> Have fun sleeping. Uh, yeah. A layer of snow covered the set one morning. That wouldn't sound so bad, except it, part of the set was indoors. The ca- the snow was caused by the crew running air conditioners at the t- uh, same time, bringing the temperature down to 30 degrees below zero. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's not that creepy, but... Uh, early screenings had a controversial response. When filmgoers went to see The Exorcist around Christmas 1973, they didn't know what they were in for. Barf bags were given to the audience in some theaters wow. just in case their stomach graphic uh, they couldn't stomach the graphic scenes. Uh, Ellen Bernstein was badly injured. I remember reading about that, like the the scene where like she's thrown up and down off the bed, uh-huh. like that really fucked up her back and everything. Yeah, uh-huh. permanently injured her spine. Uh, Linda Blair was threatened by strangers. Linda Blair, yeah, that's right. Um, Maybe I was thinking of Poltergeist. I think that. What, well, here the, yeah. So the film. Well, here's the number one thing. The film is linked to nine deaths. That's what it was. Yeah. There's yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Afterwards, when they got them filming, like people kept dying. Yeah. Yeah. In like in weird ways, ways too. In yeah. odd ways. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, if I let's see, go to that. That's the weird one. That and the scene. And the uh, and the set burned down. Yeah. So perhaps the greatest piece of evidence that the Exorcist is cursed is the number of deaths reportedly tied to the film around the time it was made. Mm-hmm. During its production, a set technician and a night watchman died. Additionally, two main cast members, Max Van Sydow and Linda Blair, lost family members while shooting the film. Shortly after production, two cast members died. Jack McGrowan, who played the movies, uh, played hmm. the movie's director, and actress Valinsky, who played for the Coincidentally, their respective characters also died in the movie. Hmm. So, anyway, hey, yeah. it's creepy. I mean, everything around is creepy. If you're into that yeah. kind of thing, this this new one's probably going to be. I mean, here's another thing, though. Is it is the old one more creepy because it, they didn't have CGI? Does CGI take away from it? I think it does. I, I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think there's something creepy about. Like that's why the best scary movies came from like the '80s. Because like, shit. Just the way they're it could, filmed, it could actually and, happen. You know. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You could get away like, with it in the eighties. You know. That's um, why it was scary. Yeah, and just the way it's filmed, kind of the graininess of the film, yeah. and just yeah, 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 for sure. Like the old gold clothing, the actors. Right. Just right. Everything about it is just well, like the sets, like you said, like it was like. It was probably cheaper to get real like pig's blood as opposed to making fake blood. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Like, oh no, that's right. real. Like, let's like like body parts we got from uh, from the local butcher plant. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for, for sure. God's sakes, we watch a scary. I'm gonna give a scary movie. I'm gonna give you one, and this one okay. isn't like you can handle this one. Okay, it's not like jump scare, bloody. You know, there is a little bit of it in it, but it's not like you know, it's not like a jump scare movie. It's called It Follows, and it's filmed like an old school. They, it's 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 new cinematography, but everything in the movie is like old school. Back in the day, it's filmed from back in the day. Oh, okay. It stars Marika Monroe's young woman who's pursued by a supernatural entity after a sexual encounter. All right, dude, so there's a, dude, is there boobies in the film? Yes, there is for yes. sure. I'm telling you. It's one of those movies you're like, you, you get done with it and you're like, damn, uh, that that was crazy. 
Here's a question. This is in people also asked on the Google search. Is it follows a metaphor for STDs? One of the most popular metaphorical interpretations of it follows yes. is obvious that it symbolizes a sexually transmitted disease. Yes. It is passed from one person to another through sexual contact yep. and it could potentially be deadly. That's okay. is exactly it. That's it. It's That's how the herpes? monster kind of gets passed along is through sex. So, okay, I can get behind this. So is it just a lot of sex and a lot of boobies in this? There's some sex and there's some boobies, but right. but it's it's not like what you think. It's not cheesy. Hmm. Dude, it's a good movie. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm not. And you know what the what some of the best part of the uh, movie is? Is the uh, is the score. Oh, yeah, okay. The score. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, the music. Dude, okay. there's something about it. Turn it up and watch yeah. it. You and Kiki will be, you'll text me afterwards. You'll be like, dude, wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not. I know you're not. I'm, gonna not gonna, I'm not gonna watch it. It's, I'm, it's I told you, effing, dude. It's it's October. Will you just one? I told, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch Hubie Halloween. I'm gonna watch ah. the Adam Sandler classic Hubie Halloween. All right. What's the and one with I'm Tom gonna... Hanks and the and the and the neighbors or whatever? Oh, uh, the Burbs. That's the Burbs. A, yeah, that's, dude, that's, that's about a, as scary as you get, right? That's a great fucking movie, dude. The that burbs. is so good. The Burbs. That's so great, dude. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid, maybe that one. But even that one's kind of creepy, man. God. Bug your lips. Bug your lips. Yeah. Well, if you, if you get a bug and she begs you to watch the scary movie, put that one on. It follows. Not going to do it. I know. You're not going to do it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can get social with. What's trending? Uh, today marks the third anniversary of the death of Eddie Van Halen. That was a big, big uh, hit to the music world. Um Elizabeth Shue turned 60 today. God, she's a babe. She yeah. still is, even at 60. Elizabeth Shue, you know who she is. She was in The Karate Kid, the first Karate Kid. Oh. Uh, she's in uh, Cocktail with Tom Cruise. Okay. Yeah. The All Saint right. with uh, Val Kilmer. She's a babe. She's a babe. All right. I think that's good enough. <laughs> All right. There you go. That's your Plan B After Show podcast, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. We should have ended on boobs.